Hey, Stewart's Chapel, Don Pearson here and Don Counts, and we're in the spare office. We were actually headed to another place, looked in and said, we haven't done one in here. We'll do one in here. We do this so that you guys can keep up and we can keep up and remember which ones we've done. A little different scenery here. All right, Matthew chapter 19, verse 16 through 22. I want to talk about stuck, stuck with a love-hate relationship. Stuck with a love-hate relationship. It's one of the, well, there's a lot of sad stories in the scripture, but this is probably one of the saddest, in my opinion. We, you, you will know it as the rich young ruler. Matthew 19, verse 16 through 22, and this is Tuesday's devotion. Now behold, one came, one man, came and said to Jesus, Good teacher, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but one, that is God. But if you want to enter into life, keep the commandments. And boy, he was quick to say to Jesus, Which ones? And Jesus said, You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, honor your father and your mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Boy, that young man, he jumped out and said, Hey, I got that. All these things I have kept from my youth. What do I still lack? Isn't it amazing? He still, he knew he was stuck. He, st he knew there had to be something else besides the law. Jesus said to him, If you want to be perfect or whole or complete, go sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come follow me. But when the young man heard that, saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Jesus goes on to talk about how hard it is for a rich man, a man that is not just rich in the sense of things, but a man that is in love with the things that he has, how hard it is for that man to follow Christ, how hard it is for that man to enter into heaven. You see, this man is stuck because he has a love-hate relationship. He loves, he, he loves everything he hears about Jesus. He loves everything he sees about Jesus. Um, he, he has a great desire to go to heaven. He has done everything physically that he could in relationship to keeping the law. He's a mighty fine young man. Very religious young man. He's not the kind of man you would think that would be running around doing all kinds of evil, but he is not a man that is headed towards heaven. He is a man that's going to go to hell. He's going to go to hell being a very good man. He's going to go to hell because he loves something more than Jesus, more than God. And because of that love and hate thing, because he doesn't hate what he should hate and doesn't love what he should love, uh, he's going he's gonna to go to hell. He walks away. You, you know, there are times when I read a story about what Jesus does that just totally amazes me and surprises me. Uh, Jesus doesn't change the conversation. He doesn't run after the man. He doesn't say to him, well, you know what, just go get rid of half of it or some of it. Or No. Uh, Jesus lets the man walk away and then has a conversation with the disciples about the direction that this man is going. This man is not just walking away from Jesus. This man is walking away from heaven. You need to understand that. This man is not walking away from Jesus. He's walking away from everything that God has and is. And he's stuck. And by all indication, on Judgment Day, 
he will stand before the Father and God will remind him of this one particular moment when he was given a choice and he made a choice that was not about following God. You and I cannot walk worthy of our calling if we choose anything else other than God. Love you, Stuart Chapman.